Welcome back. Tom Davis together with Brittany Giroli, who covers Major League Baseball and the Orioles, right here for MLB.com. Britt, the Orioles had to make a roster move today to accommodate uh, Eduardo Jimenez starting. Tell us a little about that. It was a real tough decision, Tom, honestly, when you looked at it. And it came right down to the wire. They just announced it officially. Miguel Gonzalez has been optioned to AAA Norfolk. And I know people at home are saying, why Miguel? He's pitched so well, and he has. Quality starts in six of his last seven games. 2.43 ERA over that span, which starts in July. Now, right now, they felt that they couldn't go short in that bullpen. Ubaldo Jimenez, as you mentioned, off the disabled list. You're not sure what you're going to get from him. You need TJ McFarlane and Brad Brock in this bullpen right now. You can't afford to go short down there because you're one or two bad starts away from all of a sudden scrambling, and then you can't recall these guys without it being an injury situation within that 10-day window. So they feel like this was the easiest move for them to make, as unfortunate as it is. And you know Gonzalez will be back at least by September the 1st, one way or the other. Right? Absolutely. And they also have that off day on Thursday, so they really don't need to have all these extra starters right now. And Buck went into this earlier about how you're at that point in the year where you don't want guys to say, am I going to pitch? Am I going to be in the bullpen today? Do I need extended rest? Like, they want to keep guys on a schedule. He credited Chris Tillman being on that five-day schedule for why he pitched so well lately. So I think they really want to keep these guys in turn as much as possible moving forward. And when you look at the Orioles this season, started to get really going well in June. Adam Jones also started getting going rather well in June. Is he a candidate for the MVP in the American League? I think so. He's gotten votes each of the last two years. I would be shocked if he didn't get votes again. Interestingly enough, his stats are right in line with what he did last year. And he had a career year last year. Of course, you're going to talk about the Trouts and the Cabreras, and there's certainly a case to be made for Oakland's Josh Donaldson, always very underappreciated. But Adam Jones, you look at how important he is to his team. He has played in every game for the Orioles. Manager Buck Walter called him a warrior today before the game, said you don't even want to know half of the injuries he's got going on. Buck went into his feet, which I won't get into. <laughs> Apparently, Adam Jones is in desperate need of a pedicure, among other things. But he's really been such an integral part of this Orioles clubhouse really embodies what it means to be an Oriole and that was shown in him winning the Heart and Hustle Award this year as well. He's really got the on-field and off-field package. It's hard to believe that now he's 29 years old. He wanted to be the team leader and he now is the team leader. <laughs> exactly. He's really the guy that in my opinion has blossomed the most under manager Buck Showalter. He's matured. He's taken on that role and he likes playing every day. He's really helped foster that environment. Him and Nick Markakis in the Orioles clubhouse that they're all suiting up no matter what. Of course it's a lot easier being in first place, playing for a pennant right now. But this is a team that takes a lot of pride in being known as a gritty team, as guys that are going to post up. You go in there and you see it, Tom. They've got ice everywhere. I don't even want to know what some of these guys feel like when they get up in the morning. I'm sore enough just from watching these games at night. So it's really interesting to see how much Adam Jones has really evolved into a franchise player. And when you look at Matt Wieters, obviously he, he's injured and out for the season. The Orioles had to get some catch help and Caleb Joseph and Nick Hundley seem like they have really done the job. They really have. When you look at it, Matt Wieters only played 26 games. He hit 308 with five home runs and 18 RBIs. Caleb Joseph, over his last 26 games, is hitting 291 with six home runs and 17 RBIs. He's basically done what Matt Wieters did to start the season. Nick Hundley, you saw last night, three hits. He's hitting 308 over his last five games. They've really stepped it up here offensively as well as defensively. Nick Hundley last night, you would have thought he gave up that home run. Buck said he was so angry about the pitch selection that he called on Tillman. So it really says something as a staff that these pitchers don't care who they throw to. They don't care. They're not out there checking the lineup, which has happened with teams past with catching situations in the past. They've been out there to see who's catching them. They don't care if it's Hundley or Joseph. They feel equally confident in both of them. And to me, that's just been absolutely huge for the Orioles this Brit season. Brittany Giroli covers the Orioles for MLB.com. Does a great Great job and gives us her inside look at the Orioles.